Hey guys, Mike from CoachMikeMcDonald.com here. And are you looking for more effective digital marketing methods that you can use in your business or to make money from home? Well, today's video, I'm gonna cover some of my top online marketing methods you can use to grow a business from home and make money from home, so stay tuned. Now, one foundation strategy you can use for both lead generation and then also to make money from home is creating an ebook. And so what this is, basically you can create uh, a small book to a longer book um, and you do it that basically serves your target market and your industry and your niche. And so, like I said, it's very simple to create. You could actually just open up Microsoft Word, right? And then save it as a PDF and now you have an ebook, right? And so this is a pretty simple strategy you can implement. Uh, obviously, it's gonna take some time to set up and develop, but it's cool because it, for the most part, you can create one completely free, and then the delivery of an ebook can be very simple. Um, setting that up through just an email autoresponder is a very quick way that you can start to generate leads for your business, as well as start to earn income uh, for your business as well. So, you know, what do you talk about, right, in your ebook? Well, think of your ideal target markets, pain points, their needs, their wants, things that they're struggling with, right? So again, maybe you are looking to generate real estate leads for your business. So if you're a real estate agent, and you want more targeted leads, maybe you create an ebook on the top five things someone needs to know as a first time home buyer. And so again, you maybe make five pages, 10 pages, maybe you make it 20, right? Depending on how much uh, expertise and knowledge you wanna put into this ebook. And then you uh, set it up behind a, a capture page. So basically you request that someone enters their name, their email, their phone number in exchange for getting this ebook. And so what's cool, this can help you get really targeted leads. and then and again, if you create a longer ebook, you could even sell it to start earning a profit. So creating an ebook is really the first uh, strategy and digital marketing method you can use to start to make money for your business. Uh, the second step, the second idea for you is to create a small tripwire product. And if you're not familiar what that is, basically you're gonna create a small product or a course that you sell uh, for maybe around seven to $15. Again, nothing crazy. Still obviously put a ton of value with this. And ideally you wanna create this with something that's basically congruent with whatever your lead magnet was. So that free training, that free offer that you're giving away, you wanna have this tripwire product be kind of like the next level of that, going even more in depth than that free resource that you're giving away. So for example, let's say you market like health and wellness or nutrition, right? And so your ideal client might be someone that's looking to lose weight because you offer products that help people with that. So your tripwire product is gonna be kind of that next level of that free lead magnet. So for example, let's say your free lead magnet is an ebook of like a 10 day eating plan to lose weight, right? And so again, if you're giving this away, uh, you're requiring someone to enter their name and email to get access to that. If you market nutrition and weight loss, someone downloads an ebook as a, of a 10 day eating plan to lose weight, it's probably an ideal perfect client for you, right? So in conjunction with that, you might offer like a 10 day video series for sale for you know 10 bucks, 15 bucks, you know, a dollar a day, right? Nothing crazy. So let's say you sell a uh, 10 day video series on 10 exercises or 10 workout programs for those 10 days of that eating guide to help them you know, lose weight even faster to get even better results. So again, you market those in conjunction with each other. So you give away that free ebook of the 10 day eating plan to lose weight. And then you also sell a 10 day video series, a 10 day workout program that's simple to do to go right along with that eating plan. So it's congruent, it, it adds more value on top of the free offer that you're giving away. And then like I said, you sell it for you know, seven, 10, 15 bucks, nothing crazy. And you know, the psychology behind this is that you know, you're offering it at such a low price, obviously you don't under deliver, right? You still provide value, you know, a great amount of content, a great benefit with this tripwire product. You really wanna over deliver on it, but then in you know your prospect's mind, the buyer's mind, they see this, they're like, well, if it's not that great, I'm only out $7, I'm only out $10, I'm only out $15, you're right? So it's not gonna break the bank, it's not gonna be the end of the world. But again, on your end, your job is to over deliver in this tripwire product 
because they're going to, in their mind, then see like, wow, I got so much value from this $7 product, you know, $10 product, $15 product, whatever it might be. They got a ton of value from that. They're going to start thinking, well, if I got so much benefit and value from this, you know, what are their other, other products going to be like, right? Their couple hundred dollar course, their coaching program, working with them directly. It's going to be so much better than just this small course that I got access to. So keep that idea in your mind because it's going to lead into more sales, more signups in your business. But again, I know I've sold hundreds of these tripwire products over the years, brought in a ton of income for myself. And it's a, it's a cool income stream you can add on while generating leads. So not only do you generate a lead, you can also even earn income with those leads that you generate that could be a perfect fit for your business. So it's a really cool strategy and really great digital marketing method to bring in more income for your business. Kind of tying into that, you know, the third option is to create full blown info product courses, right? And so this is more of an extended version of that tripwire product. So they're even bigger. You know, some of my favorite options are doing like audio courses or video series for this, because again, basically it's free right? If you've got a smartphone, you can record a video series, right? Or again, most smartphones have, you know, an audio record option. So you could make, you know, a, a several hour audio training course and have that be, you know, your full blown info product course. And what's cool with this, is you can use this in a lot of different ways. You can sell it just straight up. And, you know, typically you'll send, sell that for a few hundred dollars give a ton of value to your audience, help them solve a lot of problems. And so again, you make a good income doing that, but you can also use it in, even in conjunction with your lead magnets and your tripwire products. So let's say for example, you sell your course normally for a thousand dollars or $500 or, you know, pick some number, whatever it might be. Let's say you sell it for a thousand dollars. Well, when someone, you know, opts in, they become a lead on that first lead magnet. If they buy your tripwire course, you know, seven, fifteen dollars, whatever it might be, then you can offer that full blown info product course, but maybe you do it with a one time offer at a big discount. So instead of charging a thousand dollars, maybe you charge five hundred dollars for it. Um, and you offer it to only the people that bought that first product and you give it to them as a special discount. And so what's cool with this, again, you know, it taps into the psychology of basically once someone's purchased something, they're much more likely to add on something else i like to think of it kind of like you know you go to the fast food restaurant and they're like would you like fries with that right so it's kind of an upsell it adds on top of it so it's another cool strategy that you can do in conjunction with that tripwire product with that lead magnet and utilizing that ebook or other free giveaways that you might have so same idea make it congruent if you're going to stack it like that you know maybe it's the next level or it's like hey you know if like you are learning recruiting well then maybe you need to learn um, you know, lead generation, and that's what your course is about. Or again, cool, you've got the diet plan, you've got the workout guide. Now, hey, you know, here's where you get the step-by-step -step guide of what equipment you need and how you can get it for the most cost-effective price. So, you know, again, just kind of throwing out ideas, but that's what you want to have is some type of value stack where they all fit together, it's all congruent. And then again, it's just kind of that next level step. And so that's another cool way that you can do this is to create an info product course. Along with this, a fourth step that you can do, fourth idea in digital marketing method, is basically to do a product launch. So it basically take the idea of like a movie premiere or you know a new video game coming out or a new product coming out and it, you know it gets a ton of fanfare. People are super pumped about it, right? The new iPhones coming out, right? Whatever the case might be, you know, create an event with it. And you know, I can't really do it justice explaining it uh, very quickly in this video, but you know, there's a great book out there called Launch by Jeff Walker, um, where he goes way in depth about this whole process of how to create your own courses, do a product launch with it. But some of the basics is basically you'll start off by surveying your existing audience, find out, you know, their top two questions or their top two problems that you know that you can solve. Um, so again, if they're in your target market, let's say you, uh, again, you're in real estate and you've got an email list built up and you're like, hey, you know, what are your guys' top two questions about? 
buying your first flip house, right? Or your top two problems with buying flip houses. And so maybe that's something you specialize in. So you get this knowledge from your audience, what their struggles are, you know, their top two areas they're struggling with, and then you build out a course around that. And then what's cool is if you've surveyed them, they've kind of got a vested interest in it, they're helping you build the course, it's a much higher ratio that people are gonna buy and get started with that course because they've kind of helped create it. So that's a, the overall philosophy, very quick overview of this. But again, I definitely would recommend um, checking out Launch by Jeff Walker. He goes way more in depth in this. But again, it creates your own info product, your own courses. Maybe it's a physical product, maybe it's a book you write, whatever the case might be. So you can tie it in with the earlier strategies I talked about. But doing a product launch is another cool way an effective digital marketing method you can use to grow your business. In conjunction with that, the fifth thing that I have for you is to set up sales funnels to automate and grow your business without you, right? And so, you know, obviously it's gonna take some work, it's gonna take some initial setup, but what's cool is when you set up sales funnels for your business, you can actually set up some of this process on autopilot. And so one thing I find is a lot of people, why they're struggling in their business, is they spend way too much time with the wrong people, people that really aren't interested, they're not qualified, you know, they're trying to convince people to buy from them rather than actually finding people that are interested and open in what they have. And so when you use these lead magnets, you can set this up in a way where, again, if you sell weight loss or nutrition in this case, um, you give away that free eating plan ebook, well, people that download that are probably a good fit, they're probably an ideal customer because if they're downloading an ebook to lose weight, they obviously wanna lose weight, right? And so, you know, again, when you set up sales funnels like this, you can start to generate targeted leads instead of just kind of throwing your business out to everyone and just hoping that everyone's interested. And so it's gonna save you a lot of frustration, a lot of headaches. Again, a lot of people make the mistake that they think that if they market to everyone, they're gonna get a lot of results. But in reality, when you market to everyone, you really market to no one. So you wanna focus in on your ideal target market, your ideal clients and customers and then with those people, that's who you're gonna sell your products to, that's who you're gonna talk and spend your most of your time with. And so setting up sales funnels, basically automating this process of generating leads, offering your eBooks, your Tripwire products, your upsells, your info product courses, it can all integrate together and really help you start to generate leads through social media and grow your business more in an automated fashion. And this allows you to spend more time with the quality people that you wanna be spending time with that are actually interested and open to what you have to offer. So this again will help you earn more money from home, make more money talking to less people. So it's definitely something you wanna implement in your business. Uh, if you're totally new to sales funnels, you don't know how to do anything like that or generate leads online, no worries, I was there a few years ago. Uh, so I actually put together a free lead generation boot camp to teach you how to do that. There's actually a link below this video or again, you can head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash five day coaching. Again, that's coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash five day coaching to plug into my free lead generation bootcamp where I teach you how to do all this. So again, there's a link below this video where you can access that as well. Another cool feature, if you haven't set up sales funnels before, uh, a system that you can plug into is called ClickFunnels. It's a simple way to do that. There's actually a link below this video as well where you can get a 14 day free trial of that too. So feel free to check that out in the link below this video as well. But the sixth step for you, the sixth tip that you can use to, uh, that works as an effective online marketing method is basically to monetize video marketing, right? And so video marketing is one of the most powerful ways to grow your business on social media, on the internet. It builds a lot of trust, a lot of rapport, a lot of credibility. Again, people like to do business with people, not just kind of faceless companies, right? So if you're out there marketing yourself, doing video marketing, it's really gonna set you apart where a lot of online marketers are scared of doing video. I know it was a challenge for me when I first got started, but it really separates you from the average marketers out there that are just kind of spamming links, right? So if you're out there providing value, creating content, serving your audience, doing video marketing, it's gonna build a lot of trust and rapport. People know you're a real person, right? You know, you can throw your personality in it. You know, I'm a big video game nerd, so I'm always having video game stuff in the background, wearing nerd shirts, different stuff like that. So you can be you in your marketing, which is really cool too. You're gonna to attract the ideal person to you. So 
with that as well, you know, there's a lot of ways to monetize videos, uh, you know, offering different info products, affiliate marketing, uh, courses you have for sale, different things like that. But on top of it, um, you know, when it gets to a certain point, you can even monetize your videos on YouTube. And so it's a very powerful strategy. Plus it's also evergreen content. So you can make those videos, that content once, and then it just continues to work for you again and again and again on a 24 seven basis. So video marketing is a very powerful digital marketing method you should certainly implement for growing your business. Uh, the seventh one I have for you is a great way to make money from home through online marketing is affiliate marketing. And so what this is, it's basically, you know, you take those strategies I talked about earlier, like creating your info products, eBooks, courses, different things like that. But what's cool is you're actually marketing someone else's product, somebody else's ebook, their digital marketing courses, whatever the case might be. And why this is powerful is because if you're brand new, you maybe don't have the expertise to set all that stuff up from scratch for yourself, or maybe you don't have the, the expertise, the knowledge base yet to actually create those products because you're brand new, right? You're just getting started. So you can market other people's products and make a good income doing that as well. What's cool with this is it saves you a lot of time, right? Because they're already set up. You can just start promoting it and get right into the sales process, start building value, start generating leads, you know, promoting those products, which is very powerful. And then on top of that, a lot of affiliate marketing programs out there, they already have like the sales pages done. They maybe even have funnels in place that you can use. So it's your job just more to promote these. And so it's a great way to get started if you're brand new. A lot of affiliate marketing programs are either free or very low cost to get started with as well. And again, you're, you're a lot of times just going to save yourself time if you're brand new and in the beginning. And so you can start to get through your learning curve and then eventually you can create your own products. And, but what's neat is you can use all the exact same strategies to promote affiliate products as you do with your own. So it's a cool place to get started. Another great way to make money online for your business. On top of that, another strategy I really recommend and that works very well and a great online marketing method you should implement is blogging. And so what's cool with that is again, uh, social media marketing is great. I'll talk about that in a bit, but there are some downsides to it. One is that you don't own it. And then on top of that, they might kind of go out of style, right? So maybe you, you think of MySpace. It used to be cool back in the day. No one uses it all anymore, right? Um, or again, maybe you build a platform up. You have, you know, take Facebook for example. It's a cool platform for sure, but you know, it used to be a lot more powerful on the free spectrum, right? Where again, maybe you built a fan page to tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of likes. It got a ton of exposure, but now they've kind of eliminated that, and it's almost pay to play when it comes to like a fan page, right? And so platforms might make changes where they could be awesome to begin with, but they change down the road. You never really know. And again, you don't control that. So that's why social media marketing has its benefits, which I'll get to. But this is another reason why you want to do blogging because you own it, right? You create that content, you own it. It's on your website, can't be taken away, right? And so it's a cool way to build a business. On top of that, it's evergreen content where you can make it once and it continues to work for you over and over again forever, which is very awesome, right? I, I look at it just like little billboards out on the side of the highway. Every time you put a piece of content out there, it just can continue to work for you, bring in leads, bring in sales, bring in traffic for your business. So it's very powerful in that sense, being evergreen. Um, on top of that, this is where you can create your value-based content. You serve the marketplace. It's going to build a lot of trust and rapport for your business. And then it also capitalizes on search engine marketing, which I'll get to in a bit as well. But as you create that content, people are actually searching out posts just like yours, content just like yours. So you can actually bring in very targeted leads for your business through blogging as well. So it's a very powerful aspect to grow your business. So I definitely recommend that as one online marketing strategy you implement. Um, tying in with all this stuff too, another great aspect and way you should market your business is through an email list. And so if you haven't heard it before, the money's in the list. There's a lot of power behind building an email list. So again, one, you own it, which is awesome. And so again, you don't have to worry about it going away, right? Because you own that list. And if you're generating the leads correctly, they're very highly targeted leads that are your ideal type target market, ideal customers, uh, it gives you the ability to remarket to this list, which is powerful because again, not everyone that joins your list is going to be a perfect fit immediately, right? They might not buy right away, but if they're on your list, you can continue to provide value to that list, 
continue to send your content to them. It's going to build more trust, more rapport, build more relationships, establish you more as an expert. And again, you can turn this into sales down the road because again, people are kind of on a roller coaster in their life, right? In their business. So timing might not be right immediately when they join your list. But if you continue to provide value when timing is right, who do you think they reach out to? Is it you that's been providing consistent value or some random person? Again, obviously it's you, right? So this is why email marketing is very important. Uh, if you're new to email marketing, one simple way that I have gotten started in this process is with Aweber. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's an email autoresponder. You definitely want one of those tools set up to grow your business. Uh, if you haven't set one up yet, this is what I started with. It's a very cost-effective uh, way to set up email marketing for your business. I'll actually include a link in the description below as well where you can get your first 30 days of Aweber for free um, for your business and start implementing that as well. Or you can just head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com um, forward slash Aweber, but I'll put the link below this video as well where you can get access to that. So now that you've got these digital marketing methods and techniques in place, how do you actually promote them, right? And so that's really the next step. So there's a couple ways to do that. The first one is going to be through SEO and search engine marketing. And so if you're not familiar with this, I mentioned it briefly earlier, but on like your video marketing through like YouTube, your blog posts, your content that you're making, you can basically scatter throughout this different keywords or basically create content that's based around things that people are actually searching for. And so what's again cool with this, it can be free, right? So as you build that content out, you know, Google's gonna put it out there. So if you write quality content, you create value-based stuff that people actually wanna see and, and listen to and take part in, right? Uh, it's going to bring in a lot of traffic for you for free and then you can turn this into leads and sales for your business and so if you're just getting started i know there's all kinds of tools out there you know to get more fine-tuned ability on your search engine marketing but a really cool strategy that you can implement actually right away is just hopping onto google so take whatever your target market is maybe some pain points that they have or what you think you want to create your article about and just start typing it in to the search bar so you know I'll, I'll throw up a quick picture here but if i did like search engine optimization it kind of gives you some different suggestions of what people are actually searching for so the little bold things that you see there um, that's what people are actually typing in so what you can do is you can create your content based around what these people are actually searching for. And then, you know, if you write a very well done post, it can rank high on Google and bring in a ton of free traffic for you. So it's a really cool strategy to start using search engine optimization and Google to your advantage when you're just getting started. So I definitely would, you know, highly recommend doing that. In conjunction with that, a second strategy you want to do is content marketing. So I've kind of been talking about that throughout this whole video, right? And this whole content here. And so again, this is the, the idea of what you want to do though. So create a ton of value, solve your target markets problems. So in this video, for example, I'm talking about digital marketing methods and techniques that actually work that you can use to grow your business. And so I help people build a successful business from home. So that's the kind of value that I put out there. So take whatever your target target market is, whatever your industry is, and then create that sort of content. Again, it's going to build trust, rapport, credibility, uh, help you bring in leads and sales, grow an audience, build that following. And again, that can help you build your business. Because like I had said earlier, people want to do business with people, not just like a faceless company. And so content marketing can help you build that relationship with your audience. Again, just because it's online marketing doesn't mean you don't utilize and create relationships. It's a big part of your business. And so content marketing can help you do that for your business. Third option to promote your stuff is through social media marketing. And so I talked a little bit earlier about kind of the downsides of social media marketing. Well, there's also a ton of advantages to it as well. You know, when done correctly, a lot of it you can actually do for free, which is really cool. You know, you get a couple of the right tools in place, but then at, from that point moving forward, you can just simply market it on social media and then it can grow for free. Another thing, you know, not right or wrong, but take for example, when you build your audience, it can give you a lot of free exposure, but it can also add a lot of credibility to what you're talking about. So 
you know, again, it's kind of weird, but maybe not, I don't know. If you have a post that has a ton of value and you share it on your account that has 10 followers, might not get a lot of traction. But if you share it on your account that has 30,000 followers, you're gonna get a lot more uh, views on that. A lot of people are gonna take you more seriously. And so, you know, again, like I said, maybe right or wrong, I don't know, because you might have amazing quality content with 10 followers, but from a perception standpoint, people aren't gonna take that as seriously as someone that has a huge following on social media. So again, social media marketing, very powerful, very important thing to do in your business, but it's also important to create those content strategies and build your marketing on something you do own as well and then share that on social media is what I recommend. Another pitfall I find a lot of people fall into with social media marketing is they try and do way too much all at once and they try and do like a hundred different strategies at once. They're doing Twitter, they're doing Instagram, they're doing YouTube, they're blogging, they're posting on Facebook, they're building a fan page, right? You know, I'm kind of running out of fingers with things to, to talk about. So again, you know, instead of trying to do all of them at once, hone in and master one or two strategies and then focus from there on expanding because it, it, there's a learning curve, right? You're gonna have to go through your learning curve of marketing effectively on social media. So you might as well figure it out first on one or two platforms versus spreading yourself way too thin and struggling for a long time. So that's one tip I have for you, or I guess a lot of tips I have for you on social media marketing, but it's also one effective way to promote your business uh, with these digital marketing methods. The fourth and final one I'm gonna talk about today is using PPC or pay-per-click advertising, or again, just advertising your business in general as a method to promote and scale your business. Now, I really wanna focus in on scale your business because one thing I find a lot of people struggle with is that they jump into advertising way too soon. Because again, all these things I mentioned earlier, there's a learning curve to go through. You're gonna to need to develop skill sets. You're gonna to need to learn how everything works, right? And so that takes time. You need to learn what to say once you actually do generate leads to bring in business. So it's a process, right? But one thing I find is people combine that with advertising, which has their own learning curve, right? You know, pay-per-click, running ads on Facebook, all these different ways, YouTube ads, Google ads, right? AdWords, there's all kind of a learning curve with that in addition to your initial learning curve of learning the foundation skills. And so what I find a lot of people do is they jump into advertising too soon and they combine both these learning curves. And so they waste a lot of money um, before they even learn the foundation skill set. They're wasting money on advertising. And a lot of times they actually end up going out of business because they, they kind of do it out of order, right? So advertising and pay-per-click marketing is really the final step you want to do. You want to start implementing advertising when you're actually in profit, right? You're actually making money in your business, but you use it as a form to scale your business and take it to the next level. So that's really when you should get into paid advertising. It's a very effective strategy, but it has its learning curves with it as well. So I recommend not jumping into it too soon. You know, once you're actually profitable in your business, you're making money through like the organic, you know, maybe free strategies that you're implementing, some of the automated processes you've set up. Then at that point, decide to take it to the next level and scale through advertising and using things like pay-per-click marketing or Facebook ads or YouTube ads or whatever the case might be. So don't jump into it too soon. I'd recommend taking courses as well to actually learn what you're doing uh, before you spend a ton of money on it. It'll be a great investment and well worth it. And again, it's gonna save you time and money and headaches in the long run by actually advertising last in your business rather than first. So again, guys, hopefully you got a ton of value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. You know, Let me know if you know some other strategies that you implement to grow your business through digital marketing. I uh, definitely love to hear those as well. And then again, also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, get more tips and training to help you grow a profitable business and make money from home. And then also, if you are struggling with a lot of these concepts, I cover them more in depth in my free lead generation bootcamp. So if you'd like to access that, just click the link below this video. Or again, you can head to coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash five day coaching. Again, that's coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash five day coaching. Or again, just click the link below this video. But once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.